Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Freehold Borough is brought to you by Monmouth Medical Center in Long Branch. The Cinderella run for Freehold Borough continues into the Group 3 state semifinals. The Colonials are one game away from reaching a state championship, but so is Mainland. The Mustangs won a sectional title after a three overtime battle just a handful of days ago. Mainland had to travel over 80 miles to get to Monroe High School, so this was virtually a home game for Freehold Borough. They're just 10 miles away. The stands were packed and they fed off the energy right from the start. Aiden Hamlin Wolfolk shows off his range from downtown here with a triple. And it didn't take long for this place to erupt. Kwamir Everett gets loose, and this is a rim rocking two hand jam. Literally, Everett is energized after a monster slam. And how could you blame him? Freehold Burrow opens the game on an electric 10 2 run. This Burrow starting five gets contributions from everyone. Christian DeGaizo, the senior point guard, he gets involved. And Brian Tassi, the big wing, shows off his ability to finish. Count the hoop and the foul. Freehold Burrow has a commanding 23 7 lead after one. Mainland shakes off the slow start in the second. Cohen Cook tries to light a spark for the Mustangs. This precedes a rebound and put back from Jamie Tyson that caps off a 9 2 run. Mainland gets the deficit down to single digits. But Freehold Burrow storms right back. Aiden Hamlin Wolfolk hits another triple. He was 5 of 5 from beyond the arc on Wednesday. And Kwamir Everett closes out the quarter with a three point play as he finishes through contact. The Colonials go into the half up 38 25. Burrow continues to pour on the points after the half. DeGaiso from downtown here, he had 17 points on the day. Soon after, Kwamir Everett gets another chance to throw one down. The Colonials build up an 18 point lead here. Cohen Cook was spectacular for Mainland. He is almost single-handedly willing the Mustangs back into this game. Another A-plus finish from Cohen Cook cuts into the deficit. Mainland is down 60-49 through three. Fourth quarter now. Who else but Cohen Cook? Burrow had no answers for him in the paint. Cook is dangerous. Now everyone is crashing on him, so he dishes it out. Stephen Ordilly, all net from the corner pocket. Cohen Cook, he was just unguardable. 37 points for Mainland Star. Hang on, folks, we've got a six point game. The Colonials are looking for any way to slow Mainland down. Brian Tassie has the answer. Cap the basket in the foul. Tassie had a team high 22. The lead is back up to eight points with under five minutes to play. Now, this is where things get interesting. Steven Ordilly from three. Wow, that is way downtown. Mainland makes it a four point game. The Colonials not ready to go out without a fight. Christian DeGaizo drives the lane. The lead is back up to eight with two minutes left. Steven Ordilly not done. He says, give me the rock. Another three, wow! Mainland makes it a two point game with under a minute to go. It's 69-67. This game will turn to free throws late. Brian Tassie goes two for two here from the stripe and these free throws will essentially put the game out of reach. Freehold Burrow survives a late rally and they are headed to the group three state final. 73-68 is the final. The Colonials had four players score double digits to keep their magical season alive. You know, we were on, and to be quite frank, they weren't. You know, they were still shaking off a little bit of tiredness from the bus ride. But we came out. We knew that we wanted to take this game, most importantly, just to play another couple of days with each other. You know, this, this group is really tight-knit. We really love each other. So just to be able to play until Sunday with each other, the last possible day of the season, you know, it's amazing. That's what we wanted. Freehold Borough will face the reigning Group 3 state champions Ramapo in the championship game this weekend on Sunday.
reporting from Monroe High School. I'm Jay Cook, JerseySportsZone.com.